to the work. Hi everyone, I'm Aishwarya, and unlike a lot of people at the conference, I am not a policy person. I am a thought person, but I'm very passionate about bridging the world of policy and economy. So I really hope what I'm about to share is helpful for all of you, and I'm happy to talk about it after you talk as well. So I'm senior US designer at the Wikimedia Foundation. And for those of you who don't know us, the Wikimedia Foundation is the nonprofit that enables Wikipedia and 13 other free knowledge projects to exist. So we provide the legal and the software infrastructure for Wikipedia. Our story today starts with Megan. Megan is a tech policy advisor here at Law and Fitting the Sea, and she wants to do some surface level research on the history of AI. So Megan Googles history of AI, she goes to Wikipedia, and she starts reading. So how many of you in this room have done this before? Yes, we all have. Love to see it. Now, how many understand how Wikipedia works? Not that, love that. Um, well, Wikipedia, for those who don't know, is a global community of over 265,000 volunteers. They create and maintain Wikipedia. Now, let's just peek behind the scenes of this article to what we call its revision history. So the revision history is a live feed of every edit that has ever been made to this article on the history of AI. You can see who made the edit, when it was made, and what it was. But, and this is the unfortunate part, not all edits to Wikipedia are productive. The edits that I've highlighted here are instances of what we call obvious vandalism. This is where Elena enters our story. Elena is a Wikipedia volunteer, and she patrols articles for instances of obvious vandalism. Now, vandalism is an increasing problem, and the work Elena does is important, but she is feeling burnt out. But uh, readers like me and depend on Wikipedia for reliable and accurate information. So we at the Wikimedia Foundation asked ourselves, how can we use AI to support editors like Anina and readers like Megan? To prevent Anina from burning out, to increase her impact as a volunteer, and to free up her time so that she can do more complex tasks, my team is building Auto Moderator, which is an AI-powered tool that human editors can use to detect and remove vandalism. Now, one thing that I think to know, Auto Moderator is not the first AI tool that Wikipedia volunteers have used. They have been using bots and AI tools since 2002. However, what has remained true is that we have always ensured there is a human in the loop. And so Auto Moderator will be a tool that our volunteers use, and they will be making the final calls. So we do product design a bit different at the Wikimedia Foundation. We conceive, design, develop, and deploy tech in very close collaboration with the open source community, so that's the Wikimedia open source community, with our readers, Wiki Wikipedia readers, and with our colleagues. And we do this collaboration because Wikipedia is a collaborative project that belongs to all of us. So my team, in collaboration with our machine learning research team, has been designing Auto Moderator in an open and uh, community-centered way. And so open means that we publish the progress of our designs and solicit input from the community. Open means that we test with our community of volunteers. So for example, the machine learning model that powers Auto Moderator is currently um, actually just included. It, it has been tested by our volunteers so that they can understand how this model behaves under different conditions. And we ran these tests with the full awareness that if our volunteers didn't like Automod, we wouldn't build it. Uh, so a few of us got together at the foundation and we've developed a resource called the Inclusive Product Development Playbook. And my team is using this playbook to ensure that Automoderator auto is designed and developed in an inclusive and equitable way. So for example, we have these design principles that guide all of our decision making. And I'll just quickly go through the first three. So 
Uh, we've been talking about this a lot at the conference. What does this look like in practice? Um, to have a transparent AI tool, stakeholders need to be able to easily discover, understand, and audit it. They need to be able to, uh, uh, so this is the human on appeal principle. So it's guaranteed that auto mod will make mistakes. So it's crucial that human editors can close the loop and can um, appeal its decisions. And lastly, volunteers who set up auto moderators should feel a sense of agency over the tool. And what this concretely looks like are these three features. The volunteers turn auto moderator on and off. They set its threshold and they can customize it to fit their wiki. So we build a tool, but they control it. So because AutoMod is such a powerful tool, we've been using safety by design at our approach, which means we think about trust and safety at the very beginning of the project versus at the tail end as an afterthought. We've conducted a pre-mortem where we went through all the hypothetical scenarios of how AutoMod could go wrong or how it could cause harm and how we might mitigate these scenarios. So what would be the impact of this tool? Per our calculations, roughly it'll remove a thousand instances of vandalism a day across all of the wikis. So in the age of misinformation, disinformation, deface, and a decline of trust in Wikipedia, Wikipedia still works and it's still trusted. And it works because our model is entirely different from for-profit companies. We are proving that community-led content moderation works. We are proving that you can develop AI projects in an ethical and transparent way and uh, our effort to develop a bottom model tech instead of a top down, I think it should have been celebrated and protected. Thank you.